Happy Monday. This is Stephanie with Apex Languages. I have another Words of the Week. This week we're going to talk about wacky. I chose this week in honor of Read Across America Week, which celebrates, mostly in elementary schools across the country, the literary works of Theodore Geisel, more popularly known as Dr. Seuss. He transformed the genre of children's literature which before had been very adult-like and very boring, into something weird and wonderful. He made reading fun, challenging children and adults to use their imaginations and think outside the box. My favorite book by him is Fox and Socks, which is a book of tongue twisters. For example, through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew, while these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. <laughs> so tongue twisters, as you can see, is when you're playing on a lot of alliteration. It's just something that makes your tongue, it says at the beginning of the book, be careful, this book is dangerous. And that's very true. Um, it's just something very difficult to say. I'm sure all of your languages have different types of tongue twisters. If you want, share some in the comments below. This is a great book for English learners to practice speaking. It really challenges your pronunciation skills. I won't record the whole thing because there are plenty of other videos on YouTube that have already done that. So find yourself a copy, listen, and try to match the speaker, or simply try reading it aloud with your kids. You'll make lots of mistakes like I did, but you'll have a lot of fun learning at the same time. Another book of Seuss's is Wacky Wednesday. This tells the story of a young boy who wakes up to find a shoe stuck to his wall and the day gets a lot wackier from there. So wacky, repeat it with me. Wacky, wacky, wacky. What part of speech is it? adjective and it means odd weird or crazy for example that cat is wearing a wacky hat this is another one of dr seuss's famous creations the cat in the hat and he's wacky himself obviously a talking cat is a pretty wacky idea right it's odd it's weird it's crazy it's unusual Another example is the weather's been real wacky lately, been really wacky, <laughs> right? One day it's 50 degrees, the next day it's 60 or 70, uh, it's freezing one minute, it's raining the next. It's been a very interesting winter, right? So it's been wacky. I've got a big list of other synonyms for you. Strange, zany, silly, loony, as in the Looney Tunes, absurd, nutty, wild, eccentric, off the wall. Let me just pronounce those one more time. Make sure that you pronounce with me. Strange, zany, silly, loony, absurd, nutty, wild, eccentric, off the wall. That one's a little bit of an idiom. One more synonymous idiom is out of whack. Uh, and this, of course, you know, means the same thing as wacky. Uh, a slight difference here, you can talk about things that are out of order or alignment, things that are not working properly. So my books are all out of whack. So I need to reorganize them. Okay, that is a very scary room. My books are not, that's not my house. Okay, uh, but that's an extreme case of out of whack, right? Things are not where they're supposed to be. Things are not what you expect them to be. All right. Another sentence is my dishwasher's been out of whack recently. It's not cleaning right, but I can't figure out what the problem is. So again, it's not working. Uh, it's not doing what it's supposed to. It's not what you expect. If you haven't guessed by now, our word wacky comes from the whack from out of whack. It could be a noun or a verb. The verb means to hit, strike, or smack, as in, the attackers whacked her hard on the head 
and she fell unconscious. The noun is a hit striker smack. Mom gave the boys a little whack on the bottom whenever they didn't behave. So this, uh, you know, verb and noun, they have the same basic meaning. A whack can be strong, like in the first sentence. Okay, they whacked her so hard that she fainted, right? That she, she's no longer conscious. Or it can be what my grandmother used to call a love tap. You know, just enough of a hit that you know that you've been doing something wrong. So it has uh, different degrees of strength, although in all fairness, it is a, a relatively violent concept. If you're whacking, you're hitting. Now, I haven't yet talked about the origin of the word. It's actually onomatopoeic. That means that it was designed to sound like the action itself. So, you know, whack. I, for me, I don't really hear the whack there. Uh, whack. Maybe the sound of your hand flying through the air, but it's supposed to sound like what it is. That's onomatopoeic. All right. Uh, and so it is a word that uh, uh, was created in English. Uh, about 300 years ago. So that's whack. Now, here we've got this very, this violent concept of hitting. And we go back to wacky, which comes from it. And it means weird. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> that doesn't exactly make sense. That's wacky. So where, how did we get from violence to silly, strange? Well, think about it. If someone hits you on the head, you're not exactly thinking straight, are you? You're a little loopy, a little loony. This is how we went from whack to out of whack, right? When you're hit on the head, you're out of whack. You're not your normal self. And that went to crazy, strange, weird. There are a couple of other variations of this word family, but I'm just gonna address one more today. And that is wacko whack or whack job they all mean the same thing they're a noun and it means a strange or crazy person this is definitely slang so informal english and um it's negative it's a bit of an insult so don't do not call your boss a wacko please okay that cat again he's a real whack job or he's a real wacko it's time for you to work. Practice makes perfect. Describe some things that you think are wacky about life here in the United States. Write in the comments, send me an email. What are things that for you are strange, are even crazy? I'd love to uh, hear your perspective. So share that with me and the rest of us. And in the meanwhile, thank you as always for watching. There are more videos at apexlanguages.com. Have a wonderful, hopefully not too wacky day.